So you just had an awesome Zoom meeting and you remembered to click the record button. Good job. You want to post it online, but the quality is not that great. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to dramatically increase the video quality of your Zoom meeting recordings. All this and more coming up next. All right, welcome back everybody. Really quickly, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we're trying as hard as we can to create amazing content. It's totally free. Hit that red subscribe button on YouTube. We thank you in advance. All right, so we're creating a lot of new Zoom videos. And if you like us creating kind of Zoom and OBS videos, hit that like button to let us know. It seems like a lot of you guys really enjoy this. So I went out and I actually recorded a ton of test footage and I recorded in the cloud. I recorded locally. I recorded with the optimized setting. I recorded without the optimized setting and I've got all of the data here to show exactly what you can see with your Zoom recordings. Uh, and some of it's good, some of it's bad, right? So first of all, you should understand the settings that you have available in Zoom. These are found in your Zoom dashboard under settings and you click the recording tab and you get one option for local recording and a ton of options for cloud recording. So what does this tell you? Well, Zoom really wants you to use cloud recording. Uh, in fact, that's probably where the technology is headed, but where is it today? Because you know I got a lot of mixed results on how good is the cloud-based recording. And is it good enough to use for a YouTube video? Is it good enough to actually upload and archive? I would say, you know, maybe, and we're, we're going we're gonna to look at that. So we're going to look at some of those really cool recording features that you can find. And then if you look at the recording settings in the Zoom client itself, this is the actual client where you have the ability to go through all your general settings. There's, there's a setting called Optimize for Third-Party Video Editor. And I'll just tell you, it actually reduced the bitrate uh, quality of our recordings. So I'm not sure why that feature exists. It doesn't make any sense to me. And I'll show you the results of what that did. Now, there's a lot of great features in the cloud recording option. So if you have a paid account, you get all of these awesome options. My favorite option that Zoom offers is the ability to record the active speaker, the gallery view, and the screen share all separately. And the screen share actually records in 1080p. It's all kind of low bitrate recordings, but it gives you three different files to work with if you're doing post-production in Zoom. So I thought that was pretty darn cool. Um, the other thing that you can do only with cloud-based recording is like display participants' names in the recording record thumbnails when sharing, a lot of these awesome optimization and audio transcription options that a lot of people like. Now, high level, what are we getting inside of Zoom? We looked at this last time when we were looking at upgrading the quality of our Zoom meetings. And we can see here that these are kind of the standard resolutions that we're working with inside of Zoom. 320 by 240, that's most commonly what you're going to be getting from a lot of the people who are joining your Zoom calls. 640 by 480, that's become the real normal for like good quality video. In order to get 1280 by 720p video, you need to turn on the group HD video settings in your management, soft, uh, management dashboard for Zoom. I showed that in a previous video. I'll show it quickly again. And then to get 1080p video recordings in high bitrate, in my opinion, you should really be using OBS, vMix, and Wirecast. And I will explain that in our next video. And in the comments, please ask about it because I'm interested to know what you guys think. Now, essentially, this is the unscientific video quality scale. Zoom cloud recordings can come in at less than one megabit per second. What is a megabit per second? Bit rate is the amount of data that is recorded every second. And it, it has to do with streaming and it has to do with recording. The higher the bit rate, the higher the quality. It doesn't really matter the resolution so much. The resolution is almost like a canvas. Like imagine you're an artist and you have a big canvas. 
Well, the bit rate is the amount of paint that goes on that canvas. If you've got a huge canvas, but not a lot of paint, you don't have a lot of you know, data to work with regarding your recordings. So that's why sometimes Zoom will actually do you know, a 1280 by 720 or smaller recording resolution so because the bit rate's so low, it actually looks better. Now, Zoom cloud recordings, one megabit per second. Zoom local recordings, a little bit better, barely even two megabits per second. And most live streams that are in HD, where people say this is good quality, are in the neighborhood of like six megabits per second, is where you know an Akamai survey from a content delivery network said six megabits per second is like television quality. YouTubers like to push it a little bit. They like to go 12, they like to go 20 megabits per second. Uh, and that's where we're getting into like the 4K video. So this area here is where we'd like to get some of our Zoom meeting content, but right now we're all the way down here in the lower levels. To give you an example of what YouTube recommends for 1080p, YouTube recommends eight megabits per second. I'll take this full screen here, 720p, five megabits per second. So Zoom is way lower than what YouTube recommends. And I wanna show you the results. So essentially, recording in the cloud reduced the resolution to 640 by 360. And the bit rate was basically 600 to 800 kilobits per second. Now, I was using that optimized feature, that, that recording optimization feature that we saw just a moment ago. That you can rec that, that did end up changing the results a little bit. That optimized for third party video editor. It did basically reduce the uh, bit rate. So I don't understand why you would want to use that. Same frame rate, same resolution, lower data rate every time. Well, actually, um, on this one, the, op the cloud one, it actually increased the bit rate. I'm sorry. So the uh, slightly increased the bit rate by like 20%. On the local recordings, it actually reduced the bit rate. So here's the local recordings, higher resolution, higher bit rate, that is good. Uh, almost 2, 000, two megabits per second here, that 1924 kilobits per second on the not optimized. So, sorry, I take that back. On the cloud recordings, op clicking the optimize button actually increased the bit rate. On the local recordings, it reduced the bit rate a good 20 something percent. So, just to show you an example, I ran out and did that cloud recording of three videos at once. Now that is a cool feature that most computers can really only handle um, you know, in the cloud like this. So kudos to Zoom, they're making it so easy to do some high level recording options here. This is cool for post-production, right? Now you've got a grid view, now you've got a screen share view, and you've got your speaker view. So if, you, if it's an important meeting and you wanna be able to post this to YouTube later, You'll notice that the, um, the cloud grid, the, the grid view recorded in the cloud, 1280 by 720, not bad, still a low, lower bit rate than we'd like. Um, the screen share option, full 1080, but again, what really matters here is the bit rate, and it's low. And then the speaker view, very low bit rate, again, 300 kilobits per second, 640 by 360. Is that good enough for YouTube? Do not upload that to YouTube unless you absolutely have to. Not so good, right? So going back to our unscientific video scale, is Zoom good enough for YouTube? Yes, it's so easy, you can use it. Let's talk about the pros and cons here. Cloud storage, super easy. Anybody can do it. You can use your Chromebook, you can use anything. I think you can even record a meeting on your smartphone, right? Because it's all happening in the cloud. So super easy. That's what Zoom's going for. And if you have a paid plan, you get a terabyte free of cloud storage. So why not use it? Zoom is clearly putting their R&D into the cloud storage. And that's why there's so many awesome features. Local storage, um, you know, is better quality. So cloud storage cons, it's pretty low quality. Uh, you have to have a paid plan and you have to actually pay for additional storage after that one terabyte. Also, you have to go on to Zoom's um, site and download it. So, so that's kind of an extra step. As far as the local storage, we've got better quality. We've got instantly ready after the meeting. Um, the local storage con, it does take up storage on your computer. Not as many cool features. And the quality is still not great. Now, I just want to recap on some of the things we talked about in our last video. 
if you're, go if you're trying to increase the quality of your Zoom recordings, don't forget to hit that HD button. Obviously, we want to hit that HD button. Um, there's a new feature called Group HD, which our last video was all about. So I'll just breeze over this. Enable it. It's going to activate higher quality video for the hosts and participants. So you'll get up to 720p, 1080p video if you're an enterprise client. And I'm not going to read all the disclaimers about this, but essentially uh, there has there's a bunch of information about it out there. Stick, stay away from virtual background features, and that is going to get to kind of like the synopsis of my presentation of why I suggest I'm going to suggest using OBS or vMix to get the highest quality video recordings inside of Zoom. Again, just to give you a quick example of um, these, these here, we've got cloud not optimized, cloud optimized, local not optimized. So they're not horrible. So here's the cloud recording, okay? Little pixelation on the side there. Uh, you can see my name is, is on the corner because that it was recorded on the cloud. Here's cloud optimized. Again, still pretty pixelated, right? This is not even uh, 1080. Uh, local, much crisper, right? This is that local not optimized, which is actually the highest bit rate that we had. And then local optimized. I, I don't know what this optimization is doing because it actually reduced the bit rate. Now, we are actually right now recording this video in eight megabits per second. That's how I generally will record these. Let me flick on this uh, screen so we can show it there in a higher definition. This, the focus of this camera is just, needs to be just slightly adapted there. Oops. There we go. Move this table while I was getting set up. So uh, there you can see that is in eight megabits per second. It shouldn't be very pixelated. It's not going to the cloud, it's just locally recording, which is what I'm going to recommend most of us do who are trying to create high quality recordings for YouTube, but we're still using Zoom. So that is what you should be thinking about. You should probably consider connecting OBS with Zoom, connecting vMix with Zoom in order to create these high quality recordings. Like I've got this camera right here and it's got beautiful quality right i have an sdi video connection it's three gigabits of data why would i send that up to the cloud to zoom why wouldn't i just switch that locally so it start it's one of those things to start thinking about should you be if you've got great 1080p 4k cameras in your studio maybe more than one of them why not switch them well, in a high bit rate recording 10 megabits per second 12 20 megabits per second literally 10 times the quality of what Zoom cloud recording is pos is doing. And for at least your local cameras, you will look super crisp and better than some of that other stuff. So in order to do that, you do need to connect OBS and Zoom. We've got a complete video on that. So that's all for now. Let me know what you think in the comments below and hit that like button if you want us to create more videos on Zoom. You can guess what the next one's gonna be about. See you soon. So that's everything I know about how to increase the video quality of your Zoom meeting recordings. If you wanna see more videos like this, let us know by hitting that like button. I have a guide in the links below that discusses our previous videos on how to enable group HD mode, how to connect OBS and Zoom so you can do those high bit rate recordings, and how to use those uh, meeting countdown timers in Zoom, which I think are so cool. So you won't become a video production expert overnight, but if you subscribe and tune into our videos, we even have live streams that we'd love to have you guys join. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching everybody, take care.